Breaking news, city officials say bird droppings are to blame for a boil water advisory affecting 18,000 homes in Pittsburgh. The advisory went into effect last night and now we're learning it could extend through tomorrow. City leaders say a tear in the cover on the Lamphor Reservoir could allow bird droppings to get into the water, causing potential contamination. Authorities just revealed that no abnormalities have been found in the water, but still this advisory remains. Here's a look at the area currently affected. Pittsburgh's northern neighborhoods, along with Millvale and Reserve. Julie Grant joins us now with more on this new information. Julie. Ken and Christine, the sum of it is we don't know when this flush and boil advisory will be lifted. It is still in effect until further notice. In that press conference that's still going on right now, we did hear an apology from the PWSA. The interim director saying that they are dealing with a system that is like a very old car. So the Lanfear Reservoir has been taken offline last night. It's offline right now until things are repaired. Things are running off of one reservoir, the Highland 2 Reservoir. The projected time for the repairs, which are going to be expedited, by the way, is nine months. In the meantime, there are 10 water buffaloes that have been brought in. That is 25,000 gallons of water for the affected areas. And we spent the earlier part of the day in Millville, which is one of the places under that advisory. Many businesses closed their doors because of it, and others are just making do. You don't have to look far to spot a closed sign on the doors of many popular Millville restaurants. But at Frank's Pizza and Chicken, it's business as usual, just with some extra precautions. It definitely has delayed uh, preparation of the food because we have to boil all the water or use bottled water to prepare our dough, our sauce. And, uh, you know, once we want to rinse off any kind of food and stuff like that, plus the washing of the dishes. Any water being used is boiled or bottled, and employees are carefully sanitizing their hands before making or handling any food. We're using all the necessary precautions to ensure uh, our product is safe. The Millville and Troy Hill restaurant locations are in the boil advisory area, but it's nothing they haven't experienced before. When Ivan came in through, this town got flooded. We did not get flooded. So we were taking all the precautions then and we were helping feed the neighborhood. Stanley Krasowski lives in Millville and boarded his bus with a whole case of water to take with him to work. It's just a big inconvenience for us to have to boil water all the time we need water. He and his family have been going through bottled water faster than they can buy it and he hopes stores don't run out. So we bought a case this morning just to make coffee. You know, we're already out of that. Now here's a look at the water distribution locations, the Millville Community Center, the Reserve Volunteer Fire Department, Presley High Rise, Pennsylvania Bidwell, Pittsburgh Fire Stations 32, 33, 34, 35, 37, and 38. Now again, that flush and boil advisory order is still in effect until further notice. The lifting of that order will be based on two consecutive water samples taken on two consecutive days. And officials in that press conference were saying it takes 24 hours to process process those results. They're hoping to recommend to the state that that order could be lifted possibly this Thursday, potentially on Friday. We'll stay on the story and bring you more details coming up on KDKA TV News at 6. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.